planet Earth, 99% of all life to ever exist here has gone extinct. The ocean, Earth's largest habitat, holding over 90% of Earth's life. But with the vast expansion of the human race, nowhere is safe. Even the most resilient of habitats are full of danger. It's estimated in the last 100 years alone, we have lost 500 species to extinction. As a species, we need to act. It's decision time for many species around the planet. Not only do we have a chance to protect the countless number of species of our planet, but we now have an opportunity to help the species currently on the brink with their return from extinction. Humpback whales are the perfect example of what the human race can accomplish if we put our mind to it. These ocean giants, who grow to be 18 meters long and weigh over 40 ton, are known today for their haunting but beautiful songs and acrobatics. But this wasn't always the case. To truly understand these gentle giants, we have to go back 300 years to the 1700s and to the start of commercial whaling. At the time, a whale was a challenging target, but the rewards outweighed the risk. The whalers would harvest the humpback's baleen, oils, blubber, and fat. Over the next three centuries, the humpbacks around the world were hunted relentlessly. Over this time period, it's estimated the whalers killed 300,000 whales. With new technology arriving in the early 20th century prior to World War I, the total number of whales caught every year rose exponentially with 66,000 being caught in 1961. The total population of humpback whales went from 125,000 to 5,000. Through this hard time, the whales persevered. In 1879, with the discovery of petroleum, their oil was no longer needed. In 1970, the USA declared humpback whales as endangered under the Conservation Act, and then under the Endangered Act in 1973. In 1978, Western Australia banned commercial whaling. This is where the largest number of humpbacks can be found in the world. The final level of protection was put into place in 1985, as the worldwide moratorium closed commercial whaling for good. Almost 40 years on, and the humpback whales are thriving. In 2022, it was estimated the total humpback population exceeded what it was pre-whaling times, with approximately 135,000 whales performing their yearly migration.
as of 2023, four out of the 14 distinct population segments are still classified as endangered. But they are not out of danger yet. Every day, they have to be on the lookout for their natural predators, orcas and large sharks. Although gruesome, this is the circle of life. What isn't the circle of life is the other dangers they face. Entanglements, boat strikes, vessel-based harassment, noise pollution, deep sea mining, and seismic blasting are just a few of the threats we pose to today's whale populations. The true number of whales that die from these threats is unknown, but it's estimated that over 300,000 whales, dolphins, and porpoises die from entanglement alone every year. Boat strikes is becoming a rising concern, with a fleet of over 52,000 container ships sailing around the world. These ships cut through feeding territories and breeding grounds, and these ships have gotten so large they don't even realize if they've struck a whale. Sometimes a whale will wash up on shore with an injury from a boat strike. The ones we see are an only estimated 10 to 20%. The other 80 to 90% sink to the bottom of the ocean, never to be seen or heard from again. Every year, the humpbacks leave their nutrient-rich feeding grounds in the polar regions to head to warmer waters to mate, give birth, and nurse their young. Their new calves need to build up a layer of blubber to survive the icy waters of their hunting grounds. Upon arrival to their hunting grounds, they will seek out their preferred food source, a tiny shrimp-like crustacean called krill. With the ever-rising population of humpbacks, that krill becoming harder to find, especially when our commercial fishing fleet aims to catch as much as possible for aquaculture feed. Even at the ends of the earth, where you'd think nature is safe, our actions not only affect these whales, but all the other life that relies on the krill to survive. Despite all of these additional risks we pose to the humpback whales, they continue to thrive. The recovery of the humpback whale population is one of the world's greatest ecological recovery stories. And in our near future, we need to write more of these stories to save the countless species who are currently faced with extinction. Extinction is a natural event. 66 million years ago, we lost the dinosaurs, along with 95% of all life on Earth. But what is not natural is the rapidly accelerating number of extinctions we are seeing today. We are disrupting the balance of our world, which has lasted for millennia. In the past 100 years, we lost 500 species. By the year 2100, it's estimated we will lose over 350,000. Right now, we are at the breaking point for many species on our planet. Although the humpback whales are not completely out of danger, they have made the recovery from near extinction. Although we still need to make an effort to protect them, it's time we turn our attention to the countless other species that are in need of human assistance to survive. We may be the dominant race on the planet, but we cannot forget we share the Earth with 1.3 million other species. And without them, we will be the species faced with extinction.